Alrighty. And going into the second semi-final series here, spawning in the upper right-hand corner of Boneyard, it is representing Team 3D. It is B. And his opponent in the lower left-hand corner. It is none other than Parting. Everybody's favorite sugar honey bear. Yeah, I would say this map for CBC, wild. I'm very intrigued in what we're going to see here. Uh, Parting already taking out the health camp. B doing no such thing. Oh, no, he is. Okay. Right, he's doing he's it now. On it. It, he started it a little bit later. And I am I'm interested in the thought process here. A little bit worried on the pathing here. Let's see. You know? Oh, my God, dude. Once oh. again, the slime difference. Damn. Parting getting the first. Getting one more slime. He just he got it earlier. He just gets it. Well, he attacks it with his morph core. That's why, as it's yeah. heading over to the to the luminite mine, and so it's a little bit less HP. Okay, and again, creation chamber going down in the natural here for parting. Looks like opening up very similarly so far to how he did in the previous series. We but B, in. B going for a third collection array. Ooh, okay. Are we going to see the three collection array all in, which we have we learned is a build? It is a build that you can do. Very curious. Another morph core. Going to head back into the natural for B. What's it going to become? A creation chamber. All right. So, again, mm -hmm. more prisms here for parting. More create collection arrays for B. And we saw this versus uh, Don Ilya. Uh, Don Ilya. Yeah, we saw this versus Don Ilya. Very similar setups. Not sure if this is where it's going to, you know, go from here. Of course, they could go any direction just because you're taking a similar looking opening. But Parting immediately now running across the map. He's actually going to maybe try and creep jack this. Look at me using Warcraft three terms. Oh, that was nice. That was good. Creep jack. Creep jack. I know nice. that. It's yeah. called creep jack. Look at him. Yeah. He's doing it. He is. He, well. Just pulling that away there so that B couldn't immediately start DPSing. He's actually going to run in. Yeah, he's threatening Ooh, to hit the Argents, which are a little bit lower hit point and lower oh. energy as well. Ah. And he's going to okay. get the final hit. He he jacked him. He jacked him sick, right. So. Yeah. Parting just attacking with one Argent there and then... Bingo, bango. Bob is your uncle. Yeah, and he's going to keep this pressure on as he feels like he can push B back. Yeah, I mean, he does have a higher Argent count, but B, obviously, again, with that defender's advantage, I think he's just trying to prevent this vision camp from being taken as long as possible. And might even be trying to deplete the, the energy on the power bank a little bit. Quite sure. Yeah, but it looks like Parting's gonna gonna give it up. I mean, he got it's still big advantage for Parting um, at the start of this game. Now, I am very curious about this because oh. I've only seen Parting be the one to uh, um, kind of prioritize this camp early, but the energy camp is so good for Celestials because it just gives you a passive 0.25 energy regen globally. For yeah, that's really that's really good for Arjun. It's it's super good, um, and it's worth noting he's getting the the Cree rollout ability right now. So Ooh, is he? Okay, Bar Parting is, is is thinking about mixing in some Cree later on. He's gonna mix in some Cree. He's actually just saying, already right now. Oh, look at them. They're there. Yeah, they're here. They're already here. Uh, meanwhile, B. He's got Argents. But B is, has made Prism, so he went for that earlier yeah. third collection array, but he he's he's actually mining off of this. Yeah, he is. And it looks like, yeah, parting on Tier 2 does immediately take that Luminite camp there. Huge oh. influx of resources. But here we go. Look, B the going into the by. main. 
And he's going to dive Just on top of this. The collection stepping. array pulls up and is going to try to pull back. But can it actually get out of here? I don't think so. No, no way, man. Not with that many Argents attacking. The prism will be able to escape. But that is so much of Barding's mining. The question is, are these Argents going to make it out of here? And I feel like the answer to that is going to be a solid new. No, that's so many Kree rolling in here. Great split from B, though. Yeah. He says, I don't want you to be able to kill all of these. Or at least I want it to take a long time. And in the meantime, he's pushing with his other group of Argents on the front. Taking out a power bank, he could take out a creation chamber here. While Parting is busy chasing these units around the map. And Parting, it started looking good for him, but now there's another group of Argents helping out against the Kree on the right-hand side. Parting is going to push away the Argents on the left. Can he take a good fight here? Good enough to make up for the fact that, yeah, he lost that collection array in his yeah, main so base. Quite down on mining compared to B here, who not only has that third collection array for longer, but also has prisms all over the place here. And so the longer this game goes on, the better it's going to be for B. Yeah, but B does the Kree make the difference? That's the question for me here. I don't know. I mean, because Parting was able to get that rollout uh, upgrade, the Kree are not going to be terrible in this situation as B is going to have to kite back against them. Parting's Argents are really low on energy right now, though. Uh, and yeah. unfortunately Ooh. for him in the meantime, B took the Illuminite camp that Parting had, which I feel like was a, a huge part of why he was able to stay in this game for a little bit against three collection arrays. But now without that, I just don't think he's going to yeah. have the production to deal with this. His mining, his resources are just so handicapped compared to B right now. B with a 30 supply lead at this point. His Arc Fortress, sorry, his Arc Ship rather, now down over here, starting to make some link nodes. Going to turn those into strike nodes and have a nice anchor point to fall back to. I mean, Parting's not out of this game yet. He does. He is mining Ethereum. What is that going to do for him? I don't know exactly. As he's gone back into Argent production only. He will be able to insta-cap this vision camp here, but B doing a great job just holding one Argent there, preventing it from being capped completely. And now looks like might start to try to move in here and go for the kill. Still, about double supply ahead here. Parting is going to need some kind of vehicle to win this one. I just feel like the numbers are not going to be able to add up. Yeah, it feels like B has played this really, really nicely. Getting in there, sniping the collection array, taking that early economic uh, advantage. And now Parting... His plans did not come to fruition. He is just way down in Argents. And I, I don't see a way for him to get back into this game at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got to be some combination of this blast node. It almost is finished morphing. Now, parting is down in the energy. He is starting to take a really solid age here at the front as B has split off a lot of his unit. Go back, back into the main for parting. There's only one prism there, there, though, and I almost wonder, is this buying parting a little too much time? As he starts to take some really solid-looking exchanges here. Prism in the main will go down, so parting's resources going even farther for dwindling numbers. But that blast node is now done, so parting can play around that. I mean, the blast node does deal a very, very solid amount of damage. Yeah, and parting holds parting the vision count, so that's going to be really Look nice for him. He's taking a nice fight against this army that ran by to go into the main base. He's pushing it away. And at the same time, he's still holding the front against B's army. The blast node doing really well against this. I mean, wait a minute. Is parting actually still in this game? I mean, a couple of the Argents now moving a bit too far out here, but I mean, this should be... It looked impossible, but now suddenly Parting able to chase the Argents on the top side of the map. Going to chase them all the way back home. And I just wonder if that split maneuver there that B went for kind of cost him too much just, just for that single prism. Of course, if there was a collection array there, maybe, maybe that would have been worth it. Okay, B going to try to... Pressure in here, but again, oh. the blast node is doing so much damage. Yeah, it gets one last shot. And it hasn't up. been taken oh. out yet. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The Sovereign's Watch activated <sighs> on, on the Arc Station as well. I mean, these, these uh, Argents will get cleared out eventually. 
But reinforcements now on the top side as the Sovereign's oh. Watch is getting full value here. Yeah, Party doing a really nice job on the defense. It does feel like B might have enough, but no, not I quite. I don't think yeah, so, B. man. I mean, the power banks here. Maybe over committing a little bit as Parting brings everything home. Uh, he's even got those Argents that were chasing in the top. Looks like they were trying to come home. Now, one thing to note, though, here is Parting still has not been able to expand back out. So, so even though B has started to take some pretty bad oh fights for God. him. He's got so much like mining. His production is so rich right now. Like he has just got money for days. Parting is going to need to do something. He's got to get mining back online. He only has one full base of mining. Meanwhile, B, back at home, he has four, col sorry, yeah, four, four collection arrays with, oh no, sorry, three, oh God, it's so, <laughs> I mean, Celestial I mean, is so confusing. Yeah, he's got three, but he has so many prisms, which is making a lot of that supply uh, gap, actually, Ooh. in B's favor. What about this engagement for Barty? He's gonna try Barty to now jump. to attack in. Ah, he's trying. He needs to try to break this position, but it's so difficult. B keeps reinforcing. He's got these strike notes here to fall back to, the power banks yeah. to fall back to, and parting. He just he shouldn't be able to make as many units. Somehow he is staying in this game. This is insane. I mean, he is. But again, the longer the game goes on, the more resources B is collecting, and just the farther ahead he is going to get. Again, Parting has taken some really, really solid engagements here, but now again, the Argent number for B steadily climbing up. He's gonna have to use this blast node once again that he's remade. And I mean, if B maybe just literally walks around that, could he make this happen? I'm not sure he's, I mean, B is now like fully taking this position on this side of the map to try to cut off Parting's <laughs> supply as hard as possible. He's making an ascension matrix in front of him. I mean, is this BM? <laughs> no, this is just Celestials, no, man. This is just Celestials. Honestly, that's fair. That is fair. Yeah, B is gonna just keep on pressuring this, and it's just it's it's putting the pressure onto Parting. Wow. Parting does have another collection array that he's mining from right he now. Does. He's got more prisms. But he's still very far behind in that. B is going to dive in here. Parting, taking what feels like another good fight. I mean, but... again, the concave is looking really solid. But I do just worry about the resource difference. Parting very wisely, moving back here. Going to take that camp immediately again before B is actually even able to step on it there. So once again, the vision camp superiority. Quite a big deal here. Yeah, and this forward and ascension matrix. he's gonna be matrix. able to get the ascension he's matrix. He's just gonna take it down. What? <laughs> the Dude, what is, is happening? I don't understand this. Parting is fighting race. out a game that he like. He should just be fully dead. <laughs> he should have been fully dead like four minutes ago. Yeah. So I am just like I keep thinking like, oh yeah, this is where B just pushes in and Parting dies. But look at this! Oh my God. Like Parting diving in, killing that saber straight away, yeah, it just taking takes it some out. losses. But I mean, again, he's making this work with so little. It's really, really incredible. He's gonna take out a link node, and then once again just back up. He's got more power banks back here to try to keep these Argents boosted up. The, the blast is node is wacky. really far away now, though, so he might want to try to make a more forward one. Parting, he's really trying to push Again, into this. He the feels concave, like... Man. Yeah, the concave seems quite good. We do have an Animancer propping out here for B. Ah, and it feels like Parting finally... Ah, yeah. Oh, man, finally That's taps out. It. GG, those early game Ooh. expansions. Finally just rolling into too many units there for B, but, man, I gotta wonder, going into game number two... If Parting plays even, I wouldn't even say equal footing because he was down like 50%. Look at the resources mine. This is, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to go back in. Now, Parting was able to take about 2,000 creep resources, but the difference in resources mined is absolutely insane. And Parting was able to make that game, I mean... For like a few brief moments, I thought, oh my god, is Parting gonna like I don't I don't know, somehow win this, like come back from this situation? Because if anybody can do it, you know it would be him. Yeah. Uh 
Yeah, I mean, B, he had such a strong position that even with those inefficient fights, it uh, it felt impossible for Parting to get back into that. He took so many good fights, but when you're just when you're down that far, B did not let it go. Yeah, I mean, again, B taking that early collection array, getting away with it, and then sniping Parting's collection array in the main. I mean, that was just so sick. I yeah, I'm honestly just I'm dumbfounded at how that game went because <laughs> I cannot believe Party it's, Hang like hung on for that yeah. long. It felt like such a um such a gamble move for B, where he was like, Okay, it's I have to just try to get ahead immediately. Yeah. Take an advantage here. Even splitting off those Argents to go kill that array was such a uh such a gamble, right? And he lost a lot of them, but took a good enough fight where with his economic advantage and Parting trying to get into Kree, which I feel like could have been good had the economy stayed similar, but. Yeah, I mean, again, okay, so Chicken, you're gonna make this? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, I mean, he was able to make a few Kree there. I don't, you know, again, yeah, we didn't see them really do too much in that game, but I, I wonder the same thing. If Parting was able to stay an even relatively similar economy to B, uh, would the Kree have overwhelmed? Would it have been enough to actually take the game? We'll never know, but maybe we get to know a little bit more in game number two. I hope so. I'm gonna grab some water real quick while we let these guys join. I'll be right back. You grab some water, bud. I will. You get some water. Okay. Alrighty. We are going to head into game number two. We are heading to Last Hope as we continue this Celestials versus Celestials extravaganza. I'll go ahead and do the introductions as Chicken Man's chat gets to look at a rock, if I'm not mistaken. That's what you load in on here. But in the top left hand corner of the map, he's up a game and now hoping to seal the deal it is b and his opponent in the lower right hand corner it is none other than parting okay so we have cross spawns here mm -hmm. Uh, which means, you know, I don't imagine we'll see any super early game timings. I would love to see a Celestial versus Celestial late game. I don't even feel like I have any idea what that looks like. It's, it's, I think I it's imagine. 300 supply of Argents. Or... <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, 300 supply of Argents or Scythes. I mean, Scythes, I feel like, are actually super good in CVC if you're able to get up to a large number of them pretty quickly. You have to contend with the Argent Death Ball. I feel like that's the primary scary thing. And once again here, what? B going for that very fast third collection yeah. array, actually delaying his creation chamber. It's not even down yet. And I feel like Parting has got to know in that last game Okay, he went for that early collection array. He was able to just mine so much more than me. Will he do that in game number two? I feel like, again, Parting is not going for a very wild build here. This looks very standard to me. Collection array into creation chamber. So, like, this is the kind of stuff when this game is more figured out and more advanced and when the build orders are more, like, uh, put together. Like, seeing the health camp timing should be next to like frame perfect for both players right right because there's nothing to stop you from taking it so here parting taking that health camp very early b still doesn't have his yeah he doesn't so even have an argent out yet. Um, yeah no the, argents even out the question is can parting punish this right he's got three argents running across the map the health camp hasn't been taken yet and like you said if he if he recognizes that hey be open with the third collection array last game Parting can, yeah, he can go out here and creep the, the middle vision camp. He's going to be able to creep much more productively than B. 
And having that collection array is really nice, but creeping is maybe nicer. Oh, it's not even a maybe. <laughs> it is absolutely nicer. The current, you know, patch 0.0.2. Yeah. They did reduce how much uh, resources the creeps do give, but they are still a king, I would say, at this point as far as yeah. uh, collection. Especially, goes. So, I would say, on can... a map that's this big. Oh, There's yeah. a lot of creep to be grabbing, especially if you can hold that middle vision. It's a nice position for parting here. Yeah, by far the largest uh, map, obviously, that we have in the in the current pool and has the most amount of creep camps available. So you can see here, yeah, parting is up already. Two camps to be only taking one. But again, that collection array has been mining now for quite a while. So I think B, hopefully soon, will be able to start seeing the... Uh, the dividends from that, if you ah, will. You know, I was thinking about that word. I'm so glad he used it. Excellent word the choice dividends. there. Yeah. yeah. Gonna get, yeah, in, get, get some ROI on his uh, collection array. I'm gonna get some dividends. <laughs> Dipped in mama <laughs> chili oil. It's the only way I eat my dividends. Ooh. That's oh, okay, hold on. B gonna hey. dive up this ramp. Parting is here, but B is Ooh. way more stocked up on energy. Look at these Argents. Yeah. And I think B is going to be able to take I... a really nice fight. This is looking very unfortunate for Parting, even though you had high ground at the start of that fight. Now, okay, here I think the entire purpose of that fight there for Parting, not only, I mean, he, yes, he did. It was a, a disadvantageous fight for him, but he was able to uh, take the Luminite Tower. That's exactly what he was going for, and that's exactly what he accomplished. So he was able to detect to Tier 2, and he instantly took the Luminite Tower and the Ethereum Tower. So he has gotten all of those resources, which is a pretty significant amount for sure. But parting here may be a little caught out. Yeah. He's going to just try to see. focus down some of these Argents. He does have some reinforcements showing up, but so does B. And it looks like Parting is just going to run away. Yeah. Ooh. From that exchange. Origin. I mean, again, B now, though, up in supply, currently 40 to 62. Some scanners hopping out here, but those are not going to help in a fight if B decides to pressure. Yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, I mean, especially on Lost Hope, I think that trying to fight up this ramp, it, like, too early yeah. is madness. Like the ramp, the defender's advantage in Stormgate is the best I've seen in any RTS. It's wild. It's pretty it's good. It's wild how good it is. It's insane. Yeah, it's it's truly mind boggling how good it can be. But yeah, not an insignificant steal there, taking both of those camps. I mean, again, B has been able to mine uh, Luminite now at this third base for quite a while here, generating quite a bit more resources, but I feel like Parting able to stay in this game because he was able to grab those two camps. Now imagine here if B was able to take those camps and had that third camp going the whole time. Parting doing the same scanner trick where he now has two scanners at those valuable camps uh, and is preventing B from taking them, like back capping them, I would say. Yeah, he's, he's on the back side of those trees as well. Just keeping the Argents from being able to hit him. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. The scan does not last long enough. Parting knows that he moves the scanner back in <laughs> twice. Love that. Yep. Uh, Guardian Nexus down again and already going into Animancers here. Uh, I don't remember what building makes the Animancer upgrade though. Oh, uh, it's the Ascension Matrix. It's the Which Ascension is currently Matrix. researching uh, the energy regeneration of Animancers and allows them to use Dark Prophecy ability. There it is. There is exactly that. Yep. And we saw how good Dark Prophecy uh, was. Pretty good. Against a Death Ball of Argents. Uh, let's see if it continues to be that good. Yeah, and it's worth noting that B has not put down a collection array on the like back third Illuminate mine, whereas Parting has. So while B took that initial advantage, mm -hmm. It is three to three arrays at the moment. Uh, I think B still has slightly better mining overall, yeah. but 
Yeah, he has more prisms. It's not nearly as pronounced as last two, game. Three, five prisms total for parting mining luminite. I, it's uh, yeah, I'm not gonna count all these. Anyways, I'm pretty sure B is mining a bit more. Probably like half a base more, I would say. I'm gonna need an income graph uh, in the I storm wish. gate. I wish, dude, that'd be so <laughs> sick. Uh, and if I thought the defender's advantage was very good when it was just Argent's, imagine having Dark Prophecy. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, to go whoop. up that ramp. It's just not gonna be possible. No, that's that's basically impossible. And and Parting knows that. That's why he's just kind of turtling on these bases right now. It does feel like he could take that that left side base. I feel like he could do something with that. It's kind of yeah. You know, again, this is one of the things in Stormgate that I'm really interested Ooh. to see how it pans out. Oh, big fight yeah, possibly he's happening gonna die over here, out though. Front. He's, he's got those Animancers, and he's feeling good about the Dark Prophecy. He drops he's one. He's pretty happy. He wants to take this Vision Camp, and B, I mean, B could get a massive surround here. He is splitting into three separate oh, army groups. Oh, well he is. Oh, uh, this but is somebody who played Brood War. Yeah, the Vision Camp is going to pay huge here. Yeah. Parting should be able to retreat from this position if he doesn't find it good enough. But he looks like he's just going to try to focus in on this group. But B splitting so beautifully here. Parting now. Oh, my Big Dark God, Prophecy dark in the back prophecy here. is huge. Be forced to pull back yeah. a lot of his units. And Parting, he's doing a great job just posturing out here. B is yeah. poised to strike, though, and he's just waiting for the opportune moment. It's oh. a really nice concave. Where are the Dark Prophecies? There goes one. Oh, oh Dark God. Prophecies as well for B, though. Went yeah. into the middle. And yeah. that is just that. B is going to wow. take down Parting. Oh, wow. 2-0. The early third collection rate. Parting not able to punish that in any way. And B just running away with these Woo. games. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful games there from B. Uh, and we do just see that in resources collected. Like you said, that game way less pronounced. Only 2,000 more resources collected there for B. Where 400 more uh, creep resources collected for parting. So just that little bit of extra income there. Making that Argent Death Ball so much scarier. And just... Yeah, making that uh, making that last fight look incredible there. I think Parting did need to make something happen there and hope that he could catch B off guard, mm -hmm. maybe have his units a bit more clumped up there. Obviously, if B did not micro as well as he did, those Dark Prophecies would have absolutely shredded 